let's look at an idea called Venn diagrams. So what we're looking at here, di <laughs> forgive me, what we're looking at here with these two overlapping circles is a Venn diagram. Now the A and the B and the U and the numbers are a little boring, so I want to give this some context. Let's suppose that A is a collection of people who love dogs. And let's suppose also that B is a collection of people who say they love cats. And then finally, let's let U be all of the people sampled. When we break this apart into a Venn diagram, A over here, the 68, these would be the people who love dogs only. And B over here, this 47, these would be the people who love cats only. But like myself, the folks in the middle here for 11, these guys love both cats and dogs. Whoops, and I can't spell. There we go. Cats and dogs. And then finally, the folks out here, sort of next to our letter U, these are the folks, they prefer their bearded dragons and pet lizards. So this would be, these are the people who do not love cats or dogs. Okay, let's do a problem, a math problem that asks us about this. And this is a lot of questions about notation. The NU, U stands for the universe, I guess. So the NU is asking you for what is the number of total people represented here. So we would have to take the 68, the people that only love the dogs, plus the 47, the people that only love the cats, plus people who love both of them, plus the 11, and then plus the 84, who don't love cats and they don't love dogs. And when we add all that up, we've got 84, so 11, uh, 47, 68, <clears throat> we have 200, 210, 210. Okay, a couple other things here. AC, it says down here, let me grab my highlighter, that AC, and let me make the screen a little bit easier for you guys to see. Um, NAC, whoops, bear with me. NAC is the number of things that are not in A. So it stands for A complement. So for us, NAC would be the, th the people who do not love dogs. So we would have, to, in order to calculate that, we would have to take our total and subtract off those who love dogs at all. So that would be 210 minus the 68. But the people who love cats and dogs also love dogs, whoops, so minus 11. And when we do that calculation, we get 131. Okay, next couple. This upside down U here means intersection. So N of A intersects B means how many things are both in A and in B. So if we ask that question, how many things are both in A and in B, that would be the 11. How many things, how many people both love cats and dogs alike? 
This particular question isn't asking us just for that. It's asking us how many people, let's go back to the highlighter, how many people are not in A but are in B? In other words, how many people do not love dogs but also love cats? That would be how many people are just over here in the loving cats? So that would be four, whoops, 47. Okay, the one below it, they're getting a little trickier. This is asking how many people, goodness gracious, let's switch to blue. How many people love dogs and love cats but are in that complement? Which I guess in plain English would be how many people are not loving cats and dogs at the same time? So, in order to find that, we would figure out A intersect B. So that would be, let me make sure I'm on my right item here. The number in A intersect B, whoops, would be 11, because that's in both of those. But the complement of that would be the total taking away those 11. So 210 minus 11 is 199. Okay, last couple. The number of people who are in A with the U. The U down here also, oh, I don't think the U is listed on this one. The U in this case without the, um, not the letter U, but the symbol U, stands for union. And the number of A union B would be everything that is in A or also in B. So anybody that loves a dog and anybody that loves a cat, even if they love both of them. But we're finding the complement here. So let's first find the number who love cats or dogs. And then we'll find the complement like we did for the previous one. So the number of people who love cats is 68. I'm sorry, is dog. <laughs> the number of people who love dogs is 68. But there's also 11 people that love both of them. The number of people who love dogs is 47. And I don't want to add the 11 again because we already counted the 11 people who love the cats too. So N of A union B would be 68 plus 11 plus 47. 68 plus 11 plus 47 gives us 126. Okay, but we need to figure out how many people are not in that set. So A union B complement. And this would be our total minus what we just found, minus 126. 210 minus 126, 84. Okay, and then finally, N of AC intersect BC is how many people are not in A and are also not in B. That would be the people that do not love cats or love dogs. That would also be the 84.